Thank you. Mr. Spencer, I'd like to assure you that I mean you no harm. Okay. You must remember, Mr. Spencer. Please, please. We were on a first name basis before you stuck the needle in my arm. Why don't you call me Luke? And I'll call you Maggot. As I said before, Mr. Spencer, you must remember that statue was mine and it was stolen from me. The crime rate is appalling, isn't it? Have you checked the statistics today? What's happening today? Enough of your nonsense. Again, what do you know about the statue? Again, not much! Come on, Mr. Spencer, don't play games. I'm not playing games. I'm not playing games. I know it was your statue. I know Alex stole it. I know somebody stole it from Alex off the docks. That's all true, isn't it, Mr. Cassidy? Yes, it is. But before Alex had it, before it was stolen from her, there was... Well, it doesn't matter. It's a long story. Oh, but it, it does matter. I have plenty of time. I would like to hear the story. Please. It doesn't concern you. Just give up that statue before it's too late. I haven't got it. I haven't got it. I haven't got it. Have you checked the lost and found? You leave me no choice, Mr. Spencer. Well, good evening, gentlemen. Have I missed anything? Tell me, is he still being obnoxious? No, he's most uncooperative. Pity. If he doesn't talk, then we have to have Laura Baldwin talk. We'll force her. You can't do that! They can, and they probably will. Indeed, I will. If you don't talk, I make sure that she will talk. Well, that's crazy. She doesn't know anything. She knows less than I do. We'll see. Alex already has set up something for her. What? Oh, a wonderful plan that's going to really take care of her. What are you talking about? Oh, a marvelous frame-up. What do you mean? If you're not going to tell us the truth, then we are going to get your little sweetheart into trouble, and then you will have to talk. What kind of a frame-up? Right now, Mr. Spencer, Laura's apartment has been filled with things she bought from money that was stolen from the Quartermain's office. Oh, that's ridiculous. She never stole anything. Yes, $50,000. Impossible. Oh, yes. Well, Alex can prove that money was stolen from the drawer of Edward Quartermain's desk. Oh, you. Yes, a lock was picked. And Laura knew about that money that was there. And as a matter of fact, the security guard saw her looking at that money. Come! All right, Kimo, it's time. Okay, hang, hold it, hold it, hold it, Tony. This is ridiculous. Put him down. You're making no headway at all. At least let me have a second chance. I've had the opportunity to sleep on the problem, and I feel I may have come up with a uh, solution. Are we all listening? In particular, you? Breathlessly. Good. You, Luke Spencer, better start to get your act together. Because I can guarantee it that by point five, you indeed will be gone. Point one. You, Luke Spencer, have the Ice Princess. We don't. How do we overcome this little problem? Hmm? Tell me, Robert. Ever heard of the old saying, if you can't beat them, join them? Well. There's enough in this for everybody. We're not unreasonable. We don't want to waste our time. Why not join us? Could be worth your while. And that brings me to point two. How much money does it take to secure your loyalty? Retainer of perhaps a half a million dollars? Would that do it? That assage your greed? Taking me on to point three. How quickly can you deliver that statue into our hands? Today, tomorrow, in five minutes. Point four. 
How do we ensure that we're all not going to get ripped off in this deal? Us by you and you by us. And that brings me to Robert. Point. Let's analyze those four points for a moment. Thank you for your four points, Robert. Well, I hadn't quite finished. I heard enough, and I would like to offer some points in rebuttal. You got the flow. All right. Point one. You do not speak for me, and you make no arrangements and deals for me. Point two. You and Spencer are up to something. <laughs> Surely you make it the joke. <laughs> me up to something with this? Are you kidding? This guy's slime on his belly like a snake through the grass. This man moves. Your mouth runneth over. Your breath smells from here. Really? Yeah. I'm from here. Oh, stop it. <laughs> that was a wonderful performance, gentlemen, but it didn't work. He staged it for my benefit. You have got to be jesting, surely. No, no, I'm dead serious. You know that he has the ice princess, and that's why you're trying to free him, so that you can get that statue for yourself. Ah, oh, look, you've got it all wrong. Oh, forget it. Tap it, old fellow. Tap it. The lighter. Tap it. Gentlemen, if you're curious, and I'm sure you are, I just received report that arrangements have been made for your disposal, both of you, after I'm through with you. Scorpio, I never trusted you, so nothing is lost. You're going to go the same way as Spencer is going. You're going to go and share a grave together. You'll wear something suitable, of course. Oh, anything to get out of here. Damn it! Luke, tell him where the statue is. Let's be done with it. For what, man? For what? I mean, I, I, so he can just kill me? If I tell him, I have no guarantee he isn't going to murder me. I'll give you my word. Oh. <laughs> oh. What the hell? I'm a gambling man. I hit it. In a public locker. Where is the key? I hid that, too. Where? Uh-uh. Now, that's all you get until I get a firmer guarantee that my life is saved. Look, I have an idea. I'll stay here as hostage, and Kimo can take Luke and uh, find the key. Okay, great. Oh, it's better. I've just saved our miserable lives. At least be grateful. I could do with a cigarette, too, after that. Thank you, Kimo. You portray your nerves. Yeah, well, there's been a lot going on in my life lately, and I never miss an opportunity to smoke somebody else's cigarettes. Uh, may I have a light, please? Of course, why not? Tap it, old boy. Tap it. Get him cleaned up and stay with him. 